ครับDried strawberries, some more bananas. Chase has got some bananas. Okay, you guys go over there with a machine gun and tell us we couldn't ride any further that way. This is the top of the climb. Can't really see much, but it's beautiful. Very green. So we're riding through Cow Yai, it's just those roads, man. The ro roads, though, smooth roads, though. It's like unreal here. I uh, found the grass up, I threw a big butterfly before, but it flew off. Looking for scorpions, I'd love to see a cobra. A cobra would be a highlight. I've never seen a cobra alive in nature. But I'm scanning the roadside because I'd love to see a big king cobra get up and get on get on YouTube for all you gang out there. We'll see. This is a wild deer. So what are you Chop again, pull up my. Well, the grass have crossed the road. That's a big baby. Look how big it is. Wow, that's big. Oh, iPhone 6 macro. So we got here, beware cobra crossing. I'd love to see a cobra. Cobra is the most dangerous snake in the world because they kill the most people. Here at the first checkpoint of Kao Yai. Nice little viewpoint. Get some carbs in. It's a traditional Thai family. Skinny as fuck. Loaded on the rice. You don't see many Aussies like that, unless it be like a meth addict family. But Asians lean, rice eaters. Look at them. How skinny the ties are. Go past her, and this is a traditional Western tourists. See the difference. You got rice, you got dairy. So we're banging, it's a cruising, tempo, wattage, 7 k's an hour. Steep. Doesn't look steep, but 46 cadence. All those fuckers that say you don't need a compact crank, you don't even fucking climb up hills. And if you do, you don't go very fast. Elephant sign, I'm used to seeing kangaroos, koalas, echidnas, wombats. Never seen an elephant in the wild before. So I could definitely use a 32 cassette here and 60 cadence. Yeah. Easiest gear. Yeah. Up the climb is Koyai. Buttery smooth roads, avocado smooth, I should say. Smooth as avocado. Koyai, Jason from Jason Fonga Music on YouTube. What up? And uh, <laughs> got the beasts here, the bikes. But it is, it is incredible. Is there any time you on this climb, Jace? 
Oh, six or seven times. Six, seven times. Yeah. And you can tell over the road how quiet it is. Yeah, Listen. Is that waterfall? Yeah, there's a few waterfalls in here, yeah. This is epic. So if you're in Thailand, Khao Yai, it's about 200k bike ride to get here. I stay in Pak Chong, it's about 30k from to the gate. Definitely. Let's go do some, check out some more climbing. Welcome to your store. No eyes on those little guys. Water. Breakfast. No, that's a little lunch snack. The uh, mango steam juice, dried strawberries, dried long bones, some more bananas. Fantastic stuff. And look through the door here. And the rice. Look at that. Five kilo bags of rice. That's what you talk about convenience. Superman. Superman. <laughs> so heading back to Bangkok on the train and uh, check out the carriage. But not drop the iPhone. Yeah. But not drop the iPhone. So yeah, get a good view out of here. Beautiful way to travel. Got you a good view there. Really beautiful place. Fantastic place to be. Fresh country air. So here in Pak Chong Station, had a great stay here. Very good place for training. I'll post down below some really good uh, Strava segments and a couple of rides I did. Just staying in Pak Chong place I stayed at, it's called the Pak Chong Hotel, pretty straightforward on the main street there. Um, what else can I say? It's the bike set up. I'm actually at the train station now because I've got a bit of time constraint, I've got to head back to Bangkok quickly, so I'm not riding. I actually did ride up here from Bangkok, from Bangkok to Pak Chong, it's only about 180 kilometers. Definitely run some compact cranks when you're here because there's some fucking walls. Next time I come back, you're going to be running 32 or 36 cassette because it's uh, it's insane. I'll show you. Just check down the Strava segments below and see what you think of the gearing and the speeds there. Insane climbs around here. Stuff that would be illegal to build in Australia. But so Pak Chong, thumbs up as a good place to base yourself for training, cycling, world class roads around here. Very good. What about food? The more important thing. Food wise, you can just rock up. Any 7 Eleven has vegan food in all of Thailand. Dry bananas, amazing juices, even the vegan soups. Um, but I'll put again down below. Pak Chong has a couple of vegan restaurants. The Loving Hut is open mostly, but there's plenty of other options. You got most restaurants are catered for vegans here, so you can get food. It's a pretty good bike shop as well, just out of town. There's a Tesco supermarket. Everything you need here is here. Massage next to the train station. All done and dusted in Pak Chong, Thailand. Good